Oh, nice tea. Okay. Green tea, yeah. Uh, it's me, King Human. Uh, okay, people. I know I'm, I'm going to try and make more videos. I'm trying to catch up on my emails and comments, but this that's what this video is about. A comment that I saw like a day or two ago, and I need to address this because I see this type of thing all the time. I actually get this question a lot. Somebody commented or emailed me, I don't know which, Hey, King Human, I do clothing on the side. You know, I make these clothes. I don't know what, what she said, what kind of clothes she was making, whatever, I don't know. But my friends all say I should go into the clothing business because they love my clothes. Okay, your friends are idiots. Don't listen to your friends on anything unless they've done it and they've been in business or they're some kind of business guru themselves. If they're punching a clock and doing the 9 to 5 ditch digging thing, tell them to shut the hell up. Don't listen to them. It's one thing to do something well. It's another thing to do it as a business. Now, if you want to do that as a business, and your question to me was, should I do this clothing thing as a business? Can I make money? What do I do? Here's my suggestion to you. Get on Google and Google search making a business plan. Sit there and make your business plan. Fill out all the financials, do it honestly, and act as if you're going to your bank with that business plan to ask for a loan. If you fill out that business plan and you think handing that to your bank officer is going to make him laugh until he pisses his pants, it's probably not a good idea for you to go into that particular business. I want you to fill out a business plan because this is going to give you a reality check. I see this kind of thing all the time. You know, I call it the restaurant syndrome. You know, oh, King Human, I cooked for all my friends and I cook for them all the time. And they tell me I should open a restaurant. I mean, this is the classic one. I see this a million times a year. Uh, and then, you know, they open a restaurant and find out that running a restaurant is not the same as cooking a meal. Just because you can cook a meal and it's very freaking tasty and people love it doesn't mean you can run a restaurant. A restaurant is a business and it's one of the hardest businesses you can go into. The failure rate is so high, I mean it's just a nightmare on wheels. So when somebody tells you, oh you cook really well, you should open a restaurant, they're idiots! They don't know what the hell they're talking about. They got no concept of what business is and the difference between running a business and cooking a meal. Don't listen to your friends unless they're business geniuses. That's my advice to you. Okay, now, now, and that goes to all you other coconuts out there who think you can start manufacturing a product or you know doing you know some kind of business that's kind of bigger than just a little you know run yourself eBay kind of business that's why I talk a lot about these eBay businesses because it's low risk if you do it and you fail you haven't lost much except for a little bit of your time but you're gonna gain experience and you're gonna get an education believe it or not Every time you fail, it's a good thing if you learn something from your failure and improve every time. Because eventually what's going to happen is you, the light bulb's going to turn on and you're going to go, fuck me in the heart. Now I get it. Now I know how to make money. And believe me, it happens. If I can do it, you can do it. Uh, okay, emails. I, I've been getting a lot of emails. You guys got to understand. I get between YouTube and a bunch of other stuff I got going on that I'm not talking about. I get about 200 emails a day. It's impossible for me to answer them. But I want to try to address a few of them because some of them really need addressing. So let me look at my computer. 
I'll come right back. Okay, Joe Greenban writes, Can you man answer your emails? He wrote me a bunch of couple of First of all, Joe, hey, thanks for the kind words. I appreciate, I really appreciate getting emails that are positive and not, trust me, I get plenty of hate mails. So the positive ones which have been coming in fast and furious lately have really been encouraging to me. So Joe, thanks a lot for that. And he writes, answer your damn emails, King Human, you piece of shit, you. I added a little bit for effect. He just said, answer your emails. I'm, I, I'm trying, Joe. I can't answer all these emails. It's, it's killing me. I just don't have time. And for somebody that's retired, I'm sure working like a freaking weasel all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on. It's making me mental. So, Joe, sorry. Okay, Lord Shadrach wrote me, Hey, King Human, there's no way you're 55 years old. No way. It's true. It sucks. I tell you, it sucks donkey donk. I don't know how it happened. I woke up one day, and I'm old. Still watching cartoons. I don't know what's going on. I don't know about this old thing, but it sucks. And guess what? It's going to happen to YouTube. So, uh, anyway... Uh, hey, Lord Shadrach, thanks for the great email. I read the rest of your email, and uh, I don't know what to tell you. You you know, you're going to try the blog thing. That's great. It's, it's really delicate. I mean, there's a lot of things you have to get right, but, you know, you sound like you're on it, so give it a try. You know, post your blogs on, like, blogger.com, Squidoo, all, all those free places first before you start spending any money. All right, next email. Shooter2 wrote me a big, long-ass email. I can't read it. It's too long. Sorry. The Locomotive Thomas, something like that, wrote me some big, long-ass email about uh, the blogger thing, too. Um, asking me... Hey, one of those fiber bars. It's in my teeth. Uh, asking me questions about... You know, putting pictures on his blog about with the like the metal detector, whatever the hell it was. Hey, I can't give you legal advice. You know, what I would do if I were you, just to cover my ass, is I would contact the website where you found the picture and shoot them an email and say, Hey, I want to make a blog reviewing this item. Can I use the picture that you have on your website? Simple. Okay, another email from Joe Greenban. Have you tried the brokering service thing yet? You said you were going to do that. No, I, Joe, I haven't gotten around to that yet. I've been so distracted with a few other things. I'm really excited because I, I just found, I've been spending a couple of days looking at this guy who invented this new software for Kindle. I mean, it does amazing things. And I've talked about putting books on Kindle before and how to make money with that. Go look at those videos. Because um, I still think it's a really viable thing. And I'm going to get off my ass and do that myself because I got a shitload of ebooks that I wrote. And that made me money back in the day. And I know they'll make money again, especially putting them in this new marketplace, Kindle. So this guy came out with. Uh, software that automatically formats your ebooks into Kindle format and automatically uploads it to Kindle. Not only that, the thing that really gets me excited about it is that it's giving you ways to get your ebooks on Kindle into the most seen section, the, the featured section. By use, uh, it automatically gives you these keywords. It, I'm going to do a whole video about this in a little while. So, you know, but boy, did it get me warm and runny when I watched it. And uh, I think there's money here. So let me get on that and get back to you with it. The, the brokering thing, I just haven't had time yet. It's on my desk. You can see the pile of papers here of things I got to do. Okay, next email. Rob Nolan. Big long ass email. I can't read it right now. It's too long. Distill it down to like a little section. And Raven Taylor. Oh my God, this kills me. She writes, uh, King Human. I'm a single mom. I'm. Well, she's like 19 years old, single mom, and she's got no money. And she's writing me, King Human. 
Help me, what do I do to make money? I get this kind of question all the time. I can't answer it because I don't know you. I don't know what your skill set is. I don't know what you're able to do. I don't know how competent you are on a computer. Uh, I don't know a lot of things about you. What I can tell you is this. Go back, look at my videos on how to flip websites, how to write ebooks, how to, you know, all those things. If you find something that really speaks to you, give it a try, as I suggested. Also, go to my website and download the free books. There's books on how to sell Halloween stuff on eBay, which made me a ton of money, on flipping the websites, all that stuff. Go through, read those books. Uh, if it doesn't work for you or if you're having trouble, then contact me and say, King Human, I'm trying this thing that you suggested and I'm running into a little snag here or there. That's what I can help you with. I can't help you with, because uh, I don't know you. I can't suggest something that's going to make a slam dunk for you. Okay, there we go. Um, I only answered a few emails and I did a half-assed job, but there you go. What do you want from me? Crying out loud. I'm retired. I'm giving you my time, my energy, my brain power. Um, uh, you guys, come on. Give me a break. All right, people. Anyway, be good to yourself. More importantly, be good to somebody that's less fortunate than you. Donate a few bucks to charity. Even if it's only when you're checking out at Safeway, they always have a thing, you know, donate five bucks to, you know, whatever the cause is, breast cancer, whatever. You know, try and try and spread some positivity. Alright. Booyah, I'm outie. Ooh.